The Omada Hardware Controller, OC200 or OC300, provides centralized management of your EAPs, switches, and routers in the Omada network. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the controller via web browser. Step 1. Connect the controller to your local network. For OC300, you can connect the power port to a power socket and connect the Ethernet port to the switch. For OC200, you can connect the PoE in port of the device to a PoE port of a PoE switch. To set up the controller via the Omada Cloud, make sure your controller has an internet connection. On default settings, when the controller has internet, the cloud LED will flash slowly. After connecting your PC to the internet, you can set up the controller using a web browser on the PC. Step 2. Log in with your TP-Link ID. Make sure your PC has an internet connection. Launch a web browser on your PC and go to the Omada Cloud. omada.tplinkcloud.com Enter your email and password and click Log In to log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have a TP-Link ID, you need to first sign up and follow the wizard to create a TP-Link ID. Step 3. Add the controller to your TP-Link ID. Click Add Cloud Controller. Verify that the cloud LED of the controller is flashing slowly. If not, make sure the controller has an internet connection. If it is still not working, try to push the reset button and hold for 5 seconds to reset the controller back to factory default and then try again. Click Next. Enter the device key printed on the bottom of the controller. Then type the characters in the image. Click Next. The controller is now successfully added to your TP-Link ID. Click Done. Step 4. Set up the controller. Click Launch to enter the setup wizard of the controller. Finally, follow the wizard to set up the controller. Thank you.